Greetings, Gemini. So let's get started with your reading. This is your weekly reading. We're going to get started with your angels. So you received three angels, and the first one you received was Angel B. Huaya. Y'all already know I butcher these angel names. So this angel favors fresh starts. Next, we have Angel Hazel. This angel grants forgiveness. Following that, we have Angel Sahalaya. This angel increases willpower. Okay. Next, we have your Beyond B Oracle. This is an oracle that created by me. I like to refer to the messages on these cards as yin and yang. Definitely take what resonates, what doesn't. Do not feel obligated to make it fit in your lifestyle situation. So the first message says, third eye open and you're connecting to source. Okay. Next, we have hear no evil. Following that, it says third eye protection is needed or could possibly be blocked. Next, we have obstacles in the way. So definitely, Gemini, take what resonates, what doesn't apply. Do not make it fit, okay? you Only you know your situation. So next, we have healing frequency. The healing frequency you received was 639 hertz. This frequency is great for rebalancing. To bring in positive energy. It's great for the heart chakra. Um, harmonizing relationships. Connecting relationships. It's great for connections and reconnecting. Okay. Next we have your mental health oracle. And it says no caffeine today. Okay. Next we have your Native American animal symbolism card. And you receive the pheasant. This card is, uh, this animal is symbolic to confidence, attraction, and perseverance, okay? Next, you received from the element oracle, calcium, okay? And it says, a joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Okay. Next, we have your days and dates oracle. This is another oracle created by me. It consists of seasons, days of the week, dates, chakras, and months. Okay. So the first thing you received was the crown chakra. Next, we have the universe. Following that, we have the ninth, the month of July. The 11th, the 16th, and stars, okay? Next, we have the Let's Tap In Oracle. And from this Oracle deck, you receive makeup. So that's kind of like relationship makeup. So it seems like, Gemini, your, your uh, reading is kind of circling uh, healing and relationships, okay? So makeups, um, transitioning of a loved one. Then it says, ancestors, we love you. Healing lineage, say no to generational curses, okay? Then we have the mystic shaman oracle. And from this oracle, you receive card 56. This talks about thunder, okay? Maybe it's storming where you are, or it could be bad weather. But it says... Legends speak of great thunder beings who live in the sky and call for your attention when great occurrences are meant to happen in the world. They warn when tensions in a situation are called upon to be released. Their presence in their presence in your reading reminds you of the dramatic moments in life that change everything, both awesome and frightening. When thunder arrives, it is also a wake-up call, one that you will not soon forget. When thunder comes into your reading, it refers to a big dramatic change that feels like a herd of wild bison on the run. You will feel it right through your bones and you know that you are powerless to influence whatever events have been set in motion. This is a time to be prepared for anything. Do you feel like unnecessary drama is waylaying your life? 
Could you be exhausted from listening to others tell you their never ending victim story? Or could you be telling yourself a version of the same? It's time for an about face. You're being warned that that to continue on this path will cause you to regret your choices, even if they appear benign or familiar. It's time to say no to the drama, both yours and others. Focus on solutions rather than problems. You are worthy of a drama-free life. Next, we have the crystal. And the crystal you received was the tiger's eye. So, it says, Tiger's eye is good for growing your confidence and strength. And it is known as the stone of courage. It says chakra is it's, and it's great for the root chakra and the sacral chakra. It is also associated with the zodiacs Gemini, Capricorn, and Leo. Okay. Next, we have your random words. So it says those friends are foes. Next, we have I'm not telling the one hundred percent truth. Next, we have new projects. We have the angel number 1212. We have law enforcement. We have assigned agent or agents. And then we have altercation. Okay. So that is everything I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, definitely thumbs up this video and I will talk to you in your next reading.